hi again so welcome to part three where i'm going to teach you all electron component names pictures symbols and purposes so so the next component we have the dl airline package ICs. so i'm going here to teach you many ICs, and of course i'm going to show you what is the difference between one IC to another IC. So basically, this is DL airline package IC. You will find just the pins or terminals in just two sides, as you can see. Okay, if we go to motherboard, as you can see here, this is as you can see the IC, the DL airline package. DL means the pins are in just two sides. Okay. As you can see this one also and this one and, and as i told you before always you should differentiate between ic's and mosfets for example if we take this component we have here u as you can see means this is ic because we have u but for this one for example as you can see we have q pq as you can see means this is mosfet okay so let's see the next kind of IC. As you can see, we have the quad airline package ICs. Quad means the pins or the terminals in the four sides, as you can see. If we go to motherboard here, for example, as you can see, we have the quad, as you can see, airline ICs. Do you see the pins are in, in four sides, as you can see okay so let's see the next kind of ic so basically here we have the transistor do you see as we have seen before we have base emitter collector this is basically the symbol for the transistor here we have three terminals base collector and emitter we called it tht because it has terminals as you can see then we have here the MOSFET, THT MOSFET, as you can see, because we have terminals. But if we go here, for example, for this kind, for example, as you can see of component, this is a MOSFET, okay? Basically, this is SMD MOSFET, you see, PQ, as you can see, okay? Here also, so this is SMD MOSFET, and this one, we called it THT MOSFET or true hole technology MOSFET because it has terminals as you can see. For each sample we have gate, drain and source as you can see. So we, when the gate is activated, when the gate receives the control signals, the signal or the voltage will pass from source to drain because the diode is toward the drain so this is basically mpe mosfet but when the diode is from drain to source means the cathode is in the side we call this kind of mosfet p channel mosfet then we have on off button as you can see okay this this is basically its symbol so here here we have the dc battery when you find this simple means we you have a dc battery then we have as you can see here the amplifier okay <laughs> so basically the, the amplifier is an ic we have here dl align package ic as you can see with as you can see v plus v minus and we have plus v is plus and v is minus this is basically the ground and over here we have the v out so this is basically the symbol for the amplifier, this kind of, of amplifier basically is LM358P amplifier. This is a very known amplifier. So this is basically electrolytic capacitor. We have seen already the electrolytic capacitor, but this one basically is the THT electrolytic capacitor, not ECMD capacitor. Always we have plus and minus. This is polarized capacitor. So this kind of capacitor is used, as you can see, as a purpose to filter the current, the same as this one. But this one, we called it SMD capacitor, okay? 
then we have the BIOS or the basic input output system this is basically an IC so for this IC basically it has a very important purpose in every motherboard without it the motherboard cannot power up or boot up okay so because the BIOS contain a program inside it we called it we called it the post program or the power on safe test program okay so it's terminal basically always for the pin number one as you can see it is connected to cs signal we have here the data output we have the right product the ground this is the data e or input the clock the hold and the vcc so always you should find 3.3 volt in the pin number eight of every bios in the motherboard without powering on the motherboard you should find 3.3 volts if you don't find 3.3 volt means you have problem with the 3.3 volt power rail or even the 3 volt 5 volt circuit is fails okay so let's check this motherboard if we can find the bios basically always the bios is bigger than the mosfet so this one could be the bios okay because usually the bios is near to the super io sio or to the ich then as you can see we have another integrated circuit we called it the large scale integrated circuit as you can see it is igc it has a lot of pins it could be more than 68 pins or terminals for example for this one we called it lsi as you can see ic you see this is basically the super io this is the ic that is responsible for the whole power in the motherboard as you can see it has terminals in all sides basically we have here 128 as you can see pin okay here of course we have the pin number one here as you can see this is for this triangle means this is the pin number one and we have the whole here two three four until 32 33 until 54 65 as you can see so until 96 97 and we have 128 okay so this is basically the lsi ic or large scale integration ic then we have another kind of ic another bigger ic here this is the medium scale integration msi as you can see also it has the pins in four size then the small scale integration ssi we can call it also dl inline package ic because it has just the terminals in both sides not in four sides then as you can see we have a very large scale integration vlsi this is one of course of the most or the bigger ICs that you can find in motherboards with a lot of pins it could be more than 228 it could be it could be sometimes double okay it means about 256 about 256 okay and of course we have ultra large scale integration ulsi a very very big ic as you can see over here then we have chipsets the chipsets basically you can find the processor the gmch the ich the graphic card etc so this is the chipset here we have basically the central processing unit cpu or the processor then we have the ram or the random access memory ram as you can see then we have electric lamp basically this is the symbol for electric lamp then we have the optocoupler this is basically an ic this is the symbol for optocoupler it has a photo diode you see two arrows as you can see out from the diode so and here we have a photo transistor okay basically the optocoupler has four terminals i have a video in the channel 
or how to test the optocoupler. You can just go to the home page and click videos and search. Just write down optocoupler or opto isolator and watch the video. A very important video. Then we have the resistor. We have already seen the resistor in the uh, maybe in the part one. Then we have the diode, basically for diode, this, you see this part here means the cathode and the anode. So basically the diode let the current to pass in just one side from or one direction from the anode to cathode. And also the diode is used for protection sometimes. Then we have the CMOS battery or complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Please pay attention here. The CMOS batteries for computers, this is its reference or its part number. Always use this part number CR2022 for computer. Do not use other codes. Okay? So thank you very much guys. Please make sure to subscribe and you hit the notification bell to stay updated for future videos like this one. And for anyone who want to join me in my Patreon page, you are very, very welcome. If you want other exclusive content and if you want a lot of schematics for free, you can download it for free. Just become a member in my Patreon page and for anyone who wants me as a mentor, I can mentor you and help you via WhatsApp, via live chat until you fix any problem you have with any computer you have. And for also anyone who wants to join you to join me in the YouTube membership, you are very welcome. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.